Dell now have a newer version of their Inspiron 15 range laptop, the 5515. It has a subtle new design and a new processor for 2021. I'll show you both the good and the bad to help you decide if it's worth considering. My test laptop has AMD's Ryzen 5 5500U 6 core 12 thread CPU, shared Radeon graphics, 8GB of DDR4 RAM, a 256GB NVMe SSD, 15.6 inch Full HD wide viewing angle LED screen, Wi Fi 6, and a 4 cell 54 watt hour battery. Like the previous Dell Inspiron 15 laptop, this also has an all plastic case making it feel light and sleek. The entire thing has a matte silver grey finish with no sharp corners or sharp edges. As with previous versions, the 5515 comes with Dell's unique drop hinge with integrated kickstand. The keyboard has larger pitch keys and a full size numeric keypad. The power button is also a fingerprint sensor for Windows Hello. The touchpad is not centrally located and is shifted slightly to the left. On the right, there's an SD card slot, USB 3 and a 3.5 jack for headphones. On the left, we have the power jack, HDMI, USB 3 and USB-C. The redesigned thermal system helps move heat away from the CPU and GPU, more fan blades move more air, and a drop hinge allows air to circulate underneath the laptop. Build quality is acceptable, however the keyboard does flex when pressed hard. As you can see from the twist test, it does flex fairly significantly. With its four-sided narrow border and wide viewing angle, the Vostro 5515 has more screen space for multitasking, however the display is average at best. The rear of the laptop has two rows of air vents. The rear of the case is easily accessible by removing the nine screws. Let's take a look inside. If you're looking for even better memory performance, the device is equipped to support a dual memory slot. And this is what the webcam quality looks like on this 720p camera. And also, also, wow. Productivity benchmarks using PC Mark 10 Extended achieved a result of 3545 for this laptop, which is actually lower than the previous generation at 3557. We're not sure why this is, we did rerun the test six times and got consistently lower results. For you games out there, 3D Mark Time Spy achieved a result of 681. 3D Mark Night Raid achieved a score of 6,772, which was respectable. Geekbench Single Core, 1,075. Geekbench Multi Core, 4,040. We ran the result on Cinebench using R20. Single Core, 460. Multi Core, 2,714. Disk access speed was excellent at this price point. Results, 3,111 read and a write of 1,643.
So let's take a look at the thermals. With the stress test software running the CPU and GPU at 100%, you can see the exhaust vent is running about 39 degrees and the centre of the keyboard is roughly 40 degrees. The touchpad at this point is pretty cool. The whole case was quite warm to touch. Looking at battery benchmarks, YouTube on a full charge, 7 hours and 41 minutes. If you've got some basic gaming running, we got 2 hours and 10 minutes. At 100%, using Battery Eater, we had 1 hour and 50 minutes. From 0 to 100 recharge, took 1 hour and 58 minutes. Right, so with all that in mind, let's consider both the good and the bad parts of the Inspiron 5515 to help you decide if this laptop is worth considering. As with previous Inspiron 15 laptops, the priority is clearly on a thinner and lighter machine. The 1080p screen wasn't great, it's not as bright as I'd like to see, colours are fine, but not amazing. I thought the keyboard was nice to touch and the touchpad responsive. The I.O. selection was good. Temperatures are on the warmer side and the exterior felt a bit warm. We are baffled as to why the PC mark benchmark came out slower than the previous 5505 model. We did do a BIOS update before we tested and maybe this was the cause. We might try and roll it back and retest. We've got a 5505 Ryzen 7 CPU machine in the office here that I'm going to use to compare against this very soon. So make sure you're subscribed for those upcoming comparisons. If you want to see more videos and you feel we have helped you, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified for the next video. If you've liked what you've seen today, the team would love a thumbs up. Thank you and see you in the next video.